you, you know, I'm so grateful that you're all involved in this event. And I just wanted to ask you why you decided to join us at this time. Um, should I go first or? Sure. Okay. I, I mean, I think that um, I just assumed that these things weren't going to happen and because of, you know, lockdown and, and COVID. And I think that it was just really exciting that we could create this in this way and I wanted to be part of it and you know to, to see how magic it could be on online and make it possible um, and I was just quite excited for an opportunity to write a story especially for it really so yeah thank you thoughts yeah well as you know Priya I love stories and I love sharing stories with anyone who will listen so uh, when you um, very kindly offered me the opportunity to join you for this fantastic Tell a Story Festival, I wasn't going to turn down that opportunity. And I do think stories are so powerful, not just for children, but for adults. They feed our soul in the way food feeds our, our bellies. And I think we need that soul food now as much, if not more than ever. So thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, there was one aspect of it which was a real uh, challenge for me, which is that I've never shared a story on Zoom before in this forum. And part of me was very resistant. Um, and there's this idea with when you meet a resistant story, a story that um, brings questions and uh, well, brings up resistance in you that you go towards it. So in a way, there was a little parallel there for me uh, of to, to go towards this opportunity, which was slightly out of my comfort zone. Um, but then also, like the others have said, like Alison and Daniel have said, to, to share the magic of story, I think in whatever form, and if this is the form that we can, um, that magic... Is, is all pervasive and can still come through. And um, I've felt nourished in my life by it as a child and as an adult. And if there's any way in which we can come together with other tellers and um, give sparks of, of nourishment um, and light uh, in terms of ideas or stories, um, then I want to do that. And there's always you never know, there's the mystery, I think it's the mystery. You never know what someone will take from a story. You might think the story is this or that, and then someone might just take something else completely different, or it might just meet them in their life at that time. And so that sort of magic and mystery, really. Um, uh, yeah, so that's, that's why any opportunity to be part of that. I, ju I just wanted to share that you know, I've, I've had the opportunity to be kind of like a little fly on the wall in some of the, you know, these couple of sessions and the planning sessions. And I feel so grateful because, you know, I'm, I'm not a storyteller. And so, of course, it's not a world or a universe that I'm ordinarily part of. And yet I feel like I've, I've got to witness some of the magic of how, how stories come into being and also the magic that's flowing between the three of you. And, each of your stories is, are, are so beautiful and presented in such a different way that really reflects the teller. And so I'm really excited to be able to share that magic as well with all of our audience who choose to join us at Tell Me A Story. So thank you all so much for being so willing to participate in this kind of experiment. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the live event too.